Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to share an interesting story time with you because a few days ago I was talking with a colleague at work and we were discussing interview questions that are often asked for a software developer position and I remembered the most tricky interview question that I received and my answer was as wrong as it can be so I decided to tell you this story so that you don't make the same mistake that I did in case that you get this same question. But before I start, I know that a lot of you guys who are watching this video also watch a lot of my C++ programming tutorials and you already know that I recommend C++ Builder as a great tool to help you create modern multi-platform applications. But for those of you who are here for the first time, even if you don't understand a lot about coding, you can still use C++ Builder because it basically has a lot of the components that we use very often already available. So you can just drag and drop them and you can build modern interfaces and multi-platform applications. So make sure to check it out and I will even put a link in the description that you can use in order to get 30 days free of C++ Builder so that you can try it out and see what you can build with it. So to return to my story, the question that I was asked is not necessarily a programming problem. It's more a logical problem and you can expect this question on any job interview which requires you to have logical thinking and problem solving skills. And it is a very tricky question and it's tricked me so that I very naively gave the wrong answer. So the question was, Actually, um, instead of telling you, let me prepare something and then I am going to show you. So here I have made three cards. Now, two of these three cards are completely empty, as you can see, and then a one has job written on it, which means, I guess, that if you pick this one, you will get a job. <laughs> so, let me mix these a little bit. <laughs> okay. So what he did is he said, please pick one of these three cards. And let's say that, for example, I picked this one. So the first one, I said, this is my card. <laughs> so what he did is he said, okay, this is your card. But before I show you your card, let me tell you that this card here is empty. And then he threw it away. <laughs> and then he said, also, before I show you this card here, I will give you the opportunity to switch. So, do you still want your card or do you want to switch to this card here? <laughs> and what I did in this situation is what I believe most people in my position would do. And please let me know what you would do in this situation. So write me in the comment section which card you would choose and why. <laughs> so what I did is I said, I will still keep my card. And then he asked why. So I said two reasons. First of all, I believe that you are trying to trick me because you can see the cards and I cannot. <laughs> and then the second reason is that it doesn't really matter. I am choosing between two cards, so there is 50-50 chance that any one of these two is the winner. <laughs> and long story short, my answer was as wrong as it can be. And basically what he said is, you are wrong and there is always 66% chance that if you switch, you will get the right answer. <laughs> and then this card is empty, as you can see. So I was very confused by this because I did not get any explanation and I still was absolutely convinced that there is 50-50 chance for each card to be the winner. So that day when I came home, I did what I knew best and that is I decided to create a program that will solve this problem for me. So I decided to create a program that is going to give me the answer that I needed. And that is exactly what I did. I created a program that will run 1 million simulations of this problem in order to get the right answer. 
and the results of this program absolutely astonished me. So that is what I'm going to show you now. So here I have a program that does 1 million simulations in order to give me the answer to this problem. So if I run this program, let's see what is going to happen. Okay, as you can see, it says that out of these 1 million simulations, you are going to win 33.3573% of the time if you stay with your initial card and then if you decide to switch your card you are going to win 66.6164% of the time. So this is definitely not 50-50 as I thought. And after seeing the result of this program, I was even more confused because I could not find logical explanation of why this is happening. So, one more thing that you can do is you can even increase the number of these simulations to, let's say, 10 million, for example. And what you are going to get in this situation is even more accurate result, but it is also going to take longer for your program to execute. So it is going to take longer to execute 10 million simulations than 1 million simulations. But as you can see, after 10 million simulations, the result is even closer to the 33.33333 and then the switch result is closer to the 66.66666. <laughs> so again, I was very confused because I did not understand what is happening. What is logical explanation of this behavior. The problem that I just demonstrated is known as Monty Hall problem and it is often used as a tricky question in order to test someone's logical thinking. So the explanation of this problem is following. When you are given the opportunity initially to choose between three cards, each one of these three cards has 33% chance that it is the winner because there are three cards and only one winner. So when you pick your card, you have 33.333% chance of winning. And then there is 66.6% .6 chance that the winner is on this side because here I have two cards. So one thing that you absolutely know is that one of these two cards is empty because there is only one winner. So what the interviewer does is he removes that empty card from this side. Okay, <laughs> and by doing that, he makes you think that you are choosing between two cards. So it is seemingly 50-50% chance for each card to be the winner. But what most people don't understand is that it is actually not 50-50, but it is still 66% chance for this card here to be the winner. Okay, <laughs> and in order to understand this, let me ask you this same question, but in a little bit different way. So I have three cards again, and let's say that you get the same question, so to pick one of these three. So you decide to pick this one. Now, what is going to happen if the interviewer asks you at this point, hey, do you want to keep your card or do you want me to give you these two cards? What are you going to answer to that question? Because you definitely know if you have only one card, you have 33% chance of winning. But if you have two cards, you have 66% chance of winning. So what are you going to choose in that situation and what if I told you that this question is absolutely the same as the question from my previous example? Why? Well, what you definitely know is that one of these two cards is empty. So what the interviewer does is he reveals that empty card and then he removes it. And that tricks you to think that you are choosing between Two cards, so seemingly 50-50 chance for each card to be the winner. But actually, the only way for you to win if you stay with your card is if you chose the winner when you were initially choosing between three cards. <laughs>
And if you still don't understand this, let me exaggerate it to the point where it is going to be absolutely clear. So, let's say that you get the opportunity to choose between 100 cards, where only one of those 100 is a winner and 99 are empty. So, what you do is you pick your card and then there are 99 cards in this hand. So, what the interviewer then does is he removes 98 empty cards from this hand here, okay, and then he gives you the opportunity to switch. So then he asks you, hey, are you going to keep your card or are you going to switch to this card here? So what are the chances that you initially picked a winner when you were choosing among 100 cards? And is it really 50% chance here and then 50% chance here? <laughs> so I hope that now you understand the explanation of this very tricky question that is often asked in order to test your problem solving skills and your logic. So don't make the same mistake that I did. And if you are given a choice between staying with your card and then switching to this card after one is removed, always switch because statistically there is higher chance for you to win if you switch. So for all those of you who are watching this video just out of curiosity and are not interested in programming at all, thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and now you can leave. Bye-bye. <laughs> now, while we are waiting for all the non-programmers to leave, I'm going to ask the ones who are still watching to give this video a thumbs up as well, because I am going to give you the code for this simulation. And then I also have an interesting game task for you. I will pin my code in the comment so that you can use it to help you solve the task. And the task is following. So you will give your player the opportunity to pick one of the three cards and after he picks his card you are going to reveal the empty card from this side and then remove it and then you are going to give him the opportunity to switch. So you are going to ask him if he wants to keep his card or if he wants to switch and after he makes a decision you are going to show him the result. So what I want you to make as well is a counter which will tell you how many times the user has played and also how many times he has won and how many times he has lost. So that is a task for this video and you can leave your solution in the comment section and also if you have any questions or any suggestions for my future videos. And then as I promised in my last video, which I will link here, the person with the best solution from that video will get a shout out. So I will put here a screenshot of the person that had the best and the most creative solution. And I will also link that video in the description in case that you want to check it out. So thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and then also share it with your friends because this is a very tricky question that not many people understand. So thank you very much for watching and I am going to see you in some other video. Bye!